Welcome to my YouTube channel, House Plan to the Join. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys on how to design a POP to do a POP design in Archicad. As you can see mine. Now without any further ado, let's get right into the business. I'm going to delete this. I'm going to delete the, the POP design I made. This is how it looks like initially. As you can see, uh, it just looks opened and it's not going to look nice. If I was to render this, the roof is just going to look opened. So I had to put, uh, I had to put the POP design. Now, to do the POP design, all you have to do is go to the go to options, scroll down to complex profile, click on profile manager, then click this new. Now name your profile. Let's name it a POP design. Let's name it a POP design. Click on OK. Now click this beam, untick this, and just move this here. Okay. Then click on the document, click the line tool, and uh, you can select red color or you can select any other color you want to use. Okay. So I'm going to design my POP now. Let me go to my 3D view. I want to let you guys know about something. Now I want the height of the POP I created. I want the height to be this height. That is, if I measure this, if I press M on my keyboard now, as you can see, the height here is 150. Okay. So I want mine. I want mine. I want my own POP design to be also to be 150. That is the height to be 150. Click Enter. Buy another 150. Okay. They move this down by let's say 15 or let's move it down by 25 by 25 by 25 okay then do the same thing for this other side too 25 sorry make sure you're actually making a straight line 25 25 then 25 okay so just like that and you can also make a simple design here okay just uh based on your own choice then click this and click this side here click the coverage and just look for a nice arc okay and you have something like this okay now what you want to do next now is so click on your field to hold on space by your keyboard and select inside. Now select inside to select on the field. Then tick this, click on modifiers, click this, click this. And you can override surface, paint this to be, I want mine to be titanium white. Where you at? Click this. Okay. Now we, we're done with this. Then you just save. Then when you save, you go back to your 3D view. Now I don't I normally don't always draw this in on the floor plan. I don't always draw it on the floor plan. So what I want to do now is go to design, then click on the beam tool, cancel this, go to the settings dialog, click on the segments, click on this, click on this third um, icon here, then click on this a roof. As you can see, a roof POP is uh it's not the one we did it was a roof a, a pop design was one we did so click on the a, a pop design click on ok now pick that point there okay and stretch it like this okay make sure this is selected okay this chain is selected then just trace out this pick that point there too Come to this other side here, pick that point, then come back here and pick that point there. Just make sure you're actually doing this right and make sure you're not making a mistake. Then click that point there, click again. As you can see, it actually forms the POP that I created initially. Now, you go to your design, click on this slab tool, go to the settings dialog. Now click on click on this star and you should see ceiling here. Okay. Now double click on it. Now make sure you change this to be make sure you change the slab thickness to be 30. 
you can change you can use you can use different kind of color you can use any color i always use titanium white for mine click on ok go to the second story as you can see this is a pop I actually made so all i want to do next now is click on the slab tool and we already know that our, our ceiling is the one i selected now select this rectangle select this point here or rather select this from this point here okay and select this point here now that is done when you click you're, you're gonna see that the, the rectangle is actually been selected go to your 3d view to check what you've done as you can see it's actually been placed as we want it to be but you have to do some additional uh, changes in um, in 3d view so click this Ctrl D and I'm going to move this up like that okay as you can see it's, it's been placed perfectly now so uh, I'm just going to move out and if you don't like the if you don't like the thickness make sure you, you can always change it so as you can see this is actually it's not actually looking it's just it's not actually covering this part here let me come to this other side let me make sure i'm actually doing this right this is this is covered very well but this is not covered very well so what you want to do is select this select this blue line select this offset edge and just move it to this other side here and it's going to be closed up now you have something like this so uh you know that you just want to uh you can't make it to look like this because this is just plain plain a plain design so you want to uh give it a kind of a different kind of look okay now go to the second story and you can design whatever you want to design here okay now go to click on the document click on this arc you can try and look for the middle point of this by drawing a line from here to here okay then click on the center and click and just drag this out give it a nice shape like that and click again and just make uh, another nice circle i'm going to i'm going to make a section right here now the reason i'm making a section right here because i want to make i want to be able to see this um design i'm actually trying to do but in the section view so i can edit it to my own test now go to the document to click, go scroll down to document and click on this section and just make a simple section like this click and i want it to be i want, to, I want it to be viewed at this angle here then i'm going to this is so3 click this and let me name this name to be pop okay now this is already named to be pop this is it here double click this and let's see what we have now just forget about this other part here this is what you should be focusing on as you can see this is the pop design we're actually making and this is the this is the ceiling okay this is the ceiling that we made this is the ceiling now this is what we're actually concerned about now let's go to the if, let me click on this and let me see what this is this is 120 and this is 30 okay now let's go to the first uh to the second story now hold on alt to select this um ceiling design now hold on alt on your keyboard Sorry, hold on space on your keyboard. Delete this line. Okay, hold on Alt to select the roof. Hold on space bar to select this. So click. Now go to the 3D view and look for it. As you can see, this is it. It totally shows uh, what we are doing. Now click this. Control D. And move it down. Make sure you follow this. Um, what Archicad is giving you okay but well, ctrl z let's first let's the first of all move this down ctrl d let's move this down right here click this ctrl d and let's move this down right here then for us to place it uh in a very in the, in, in the normal way we are supposed to place it 
now go to this section that's the pop building section you should see it right here as you can see this is the first one this is the second one and this is the real um this is the ceiling this is the pop click this ctrl d click this edge here and move it up here or you can decide to move it up a little bit inside that one okay select this ctrl d now let's go to our 3d view so we have something like this now all right now you can place in your lights and you can also edit this edge so hold on shift hold on shift select this let's click on the settings dialog and this particular edge you can decide to make it you can decide to design it click ok so it has that particular edge to it but it's actually vivid but you guys understand what i'm talking about you can make yours to be red or you know blue color depending on how you want to model yours now let's place in the lights go to design scroll down and select this lamp tool click settings dialog of the lamp now just look for let's look for a nice lamp I'm going to use this and click on OK. Then just move it right, you know, right there. Okay. Now you have something like that. Now let me just render this to show you how it looks like. So as you can see, this is actually what it's going to look like when you model it. Just something simple and um, nice. This is how to do your POP design in Archicad using Complex Profile. Thank you for watching my video. If my video has been of any help to you, kindly subscribe, comment and like. And I will see you in other tutorial videos. Thank you.